It's working against you and not even be aware that you have those enemies. The enemies that we face are not persons of flesh and blood, but they are invisible spirit beings. The beings that we're going to deal with in these talks concern things which are not discerned by human senses. The Bible speaks about things that eye has not seen, nor ear heard, nor have entered into the heart of man. Things that are invisible and spiritual. Tune in, tune in next week for another exciting episode of... I know, it sounds absurd. In fact, when The Matrix first came out, it seemed like the single crummiest, laziest, most awful, dim-witted idea in the entire history of science fiction. But it turned out to be true. Who knew? Good work, writer of The Matrix. Wrong. It's outrageous fun and it's all new. Earth on Fagno. It was her who telephoned. Said the engines was trying to grab our land. Then all of a sudden, everything went dead. They've been laying back trying to catch us off guard. He says the engines will be out to my high. For no place. Right data? They could reprogram you in a way without you even knowing it. it we call it hallucinating, right? But these would be controlled, uh, hallucinating. which sounds something like this. Fight black Bart. Back to you, Aaron. Apparently the people from the future are having a pretty easy time finding work. Since they offer to work for such low wages, they're being hired all over America. <laughs> this is bullcrap! Well, Said the engines just kind of went dead. They kicked up a fuss in our neck of the woods for a hundred years. Hey, ben. Go kill Mo. That will be the end of all this horror. Well, okay. If it'll end horror. Don't you ever get tired of being wrong all the time? These monsters are destroying everything and everyone we hold dear! <laughs> well, let's be reasonable. We can resolve our differences peacefully. People of Earth, we come to you in the spirit of hostility. And menace. Now, a superior intellect is no match. Do something. What do you want me to do? No. Here's what she said. Run! You're a big fat phony. And to me. Hey, everybody. This guy's a great. Look. Just because you're repulsive and probably the most annoying person, I mean, I want you to go and kill yourself. You're really planning. Years before the Jesus that we know of would have lived. It's a risky operation, but it'll be worth The best thing that anyone has ever seen. Delusional th Actually, it's not. It's Philip. <laughs> but, you know, I'm not especially concerned with the people that, um, you know, are deranged that claim to be Jesus or whoever it is. Young devils out there that claim to come in the name of the Lord. When the devil himself per puts on his ultimate, a lot of confused people in the world out there. That's why Jesus said, if they see masquerade. Chief, uh, Mr. Don't do everything wrong all the time. See <laughs> 